Hey crew, um, so we're gonna talk about particles of matter. So uh, if you're not really worried about particles, well, it doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Um, kind of feeling the chemistry with this, with this talk, with this lecture? All right, so we're gonna start with the atom. The atom is the most basic building block <clears throat> of matter. So the, the atom itself is made out of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the proton is a positively charged particle that makes up the nucleus. The nucleus is in the center of the atom. Um, a neutron is a neutral particle um, that also is found in the nucleus. The electron is the negatively charged particle that is orbiting, zinging around, around the nucleus. All right, so we're going to talk about the Bohr model. The Bohr model is, our, is one of the current models used to um, sort of explain the, the, um, the structure of an atom. So it's, it's, it's called an electron shell model, so that all electrons move around the nucleus in a specific orbit. Um, each orbit has a different energy level, and as the orbits expand, the energy level goes up, which means the energy level is higher the further away you get from the nucleus. <clears throat> the nucleus is the core of the atom that's made, as I said, um, the core of the atom made of protons and neutrons. So Chadwick discovered the neutron in 1932, so it's been around a while. Actually, it was probably around before he discovered it, huh? All right, so um, he discovered that it had the same mass as a proton, but it had no charge. So this explained why atoms were about twice as heavy as they, as, they, as they were once predicted. So a quark, a quark is actually a tiny particle that makes up, makes up the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus. So there are six different quarks. So each proton and neutron is made of a different, a different differing arrangement of those of, uh, three quarks. All right, so to sum up, the atom has an overall charge of zero. A neutral atom has an overall charge of zero. Um, the protons and electrons cancel each other out. The nucleus has an overall positive charge, and only protons have char only the protons have the charges here. Now, the size of atoms: um, one sheet of paper is about ten thousand atoms thick, and it takes there's two billion atoms in one single drop of water. So again, um, when we go over the ion charges, we're going to talk about more more like the cations and anions and the overall charge of the atom, but for now, just um, we're gonna go with a, neutral, with a neutral charge for each individual atom. All right, so the electron cloud model of an atom. So uh, just like magnets, opposites attract and likes repel. So the um, electron wants to be as close to the protons um, in the nucleus as possible, the electron being negatively charged, the protons being positively charged. So again, like a magnet, they wanna be attracted to each other. Um, but likes repel. So if you have two positives or two negatives, they are going to repel each other again, just like magnets. So they spread out as far as they can, but the protons still hold them close to the nucleus. So again, um, more, more energy is a bigger, more electrons is a bigger sized atom. So they're whizzing and zipping around, so it's hard to know where they are at any moment, which is why the Bohr model bottle is not necessarily the most accurate. So you can only tell where the electrons are likely to be. Um, the periodic table, um, this is an organization of all of the elements. And again, we are going to go a little bit more into that, into that more in depth in that on a, in, a separate, uh, in a separate lecture. So the periodic table organizes the elements, and the element is the substance that makes, is made of only one type of atom, so hydrogen, lithium, helium. So reading the periodic table. All right, so here's what we've got. So the, fir the first is the element name, so in this case it's gold. The 79 in this case is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. Um, then the, we have the atomic symbol, in this case for gold it's AU, and we have the atomic mass, which is 196.967, which is how much the actual atom, one atom of gold weighs. An atomic mass is a unit of measure. All right, so the atomic number tells you, again, as I said, the number of protons, the number of neutrons, and the number of electrons. Okay, that's it. Hope you liked it. Hope it was helpful, and we'll see you in class.